This is an update to our 2019 Android screen mirroring tutorial. There's been a lot of updates since then and there's now better apps and better methods to mirror your Android to your TV, your PC or Mac. So there's really three main use cases for wanting to share your Android screen. The first is to share to a computer for live streaming or for recording walkthroughs and tutorials. The second is sharing your phone screen so that you can monitor what's going on while you're recording videos using the back camera. And the third is getting games or videos from your small phone screen screen onto a much bigger screen or TV like one you might have in your living room. But we're going to cover off all of them in this video and make sure you stick around to hear out all of the options so that you know you're leaving here with the best option for you for your use case. So option number one is a piece of software called Reflector. Now this is something that you download and install on your PC or Mac, and this will allow you to wirelessly share your Android and iPhone screen directly to your computer. So once you've got the app installed, you'll just need to, on your phone, enable screen sharing or screen mirroring. And this can be different depending on which Android device you're using. For most of the recent ones, you just wanna swipe down from the top, and then you should have a quick access setting for screen casting, screen mirroring, sharing, or linking. It can be called different things. And then when you select that, you should see your computer as an option. From there, you'll likely be prompted to enter a four digit number from your computer screen as a safety or security measure. And then your phone screen will start sharing immediately. Now Reflector supports both portrait and landscape and will automatically rotate as you rotate your phone. You can also hit record and create recordings of what's going on your phone, making this great if you wanna create tutorial or how-to videos. And you've also got a heap of recording settings in there that you can configure up as well, like the quality of your recording, the resolution, resolution and even the frame rate. If you're gonna be doing live streaming, Reflector is awesome for that too. You can easily just share the Reflector window that has your phone screen on it in any of your live streaming software like OBS, Ecamm. You can just select that window and your phone screen is gonna appear in there. Reflector also supports mirroring from multiple devices at the one time. So you're not just limited to bring in one phone screen, I'm not sure what the use case would be, but you can bring multiple phone screens into your computer all at once, and you can record them all at once as well. And to fancy up your recordings, you can also add a phone image as a border around the recording or for your live streaming as well, just to add a bit more polish. The, probably the biggest thing to be aware of though with Reflector is because the connection is happening over wireless, if your wireless isn't great, if you're a long way from the modem or it's a slower connection, then that can mean that you're having a lower quality image coming through or potentially even some dropouts but if you've got a solid Wi-Fi connection then it's going to work great. The picture quality is awesome I've never had a problem with it and this was one of our top picks back in the 2019 video as well. Now in regards to pricing there is a free trial version available which does have a watermark so if you want to give it a go before you buy it to see how it works for you then you've got that as an option but in terms of buying it it's only going to set you back $17.99 for an individual license to install on either a Mac or a PC so you need to buy a license for Mac or for PC, or for $2 extra, $19.99, you can buy a license that will work on either Mac or PC. So ridiculously cheap considering what you're getting access to. So overall Reflector is an amazing option for screen mirroring, whether it's to record, just to view your phone screen, for live streaming, or even for playing games on a bigger screen. The next option is a Windows only option. It's free and it's called Windows Connect. Now this is something that used to come pre-installed on Windows, but it's now something that's an optional free download. So you wanna check first off that you have it installed on your computer, just press on start and start typing in connect. If it shows up, it's installed, if not, you just want to open up settings then go over to apps click on optional features add a feature and then you want to install wireless display once that's installed then again click on start type in connect and you should have the app there so now with connect running it's going to work pretty much the same as reflector did we can now share from our phone our phone screen into that app so on the phone we want to again pull down from the top into that quick access menu go and find your screen sharing button cast mirror screen share screen whatever it's called for you. And then you can select your Windows computer from there. Now again, this one will work in both portrait and landscape modes and automatically rotate as you rotate your phone. Now there is no recording capabilities in this Connect app, but it is something that you could use with live streaming software to bring your phone into your live streams this way by adding that Connect app as a video source. And you could potentially even use your live streaming software like OBS to actually record your phone screen that way too. But there is no built-in recording or any more advanced settings like we have in Reflector. 
This one is purely just to display what's on your phone screen. Now, one thing I noticed was that I couldn't get this working on my Google Pixel, running the latest Android 12 operating system, but it worked no problem at all on multiple Samsung devices. So I'm not sure if that's something to do with the latest version of Android or if there's something specific that the Google Pixel phone is missing, but it definitely worked fine on Samsung. So this will be something you wanna check with your specific device. The next option is to use a Chromecast or a smart TV to mirror your phone to. If you're not aware, a Chromecast is a little HDMI dongle that you plug into the HDMI port on a TV or on a computer screen, and it's gonna essentially give it a lot of smart TV capabilities. Now this is something that a lot of more recent smart TVs have built in, screen mirroring capabilities, and some of them even have a built-in Chromecast. Now depending on your TV maker model, this could be something that you need to go through in your settings and enable screen mirroring, but for the most part, every time I've done it, it's already been enabled by default. You just wanna make sure that your TV or your Chromecast is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And again, over on your Android device, you wanna scroll down from the top, select your screen mirroring or screen casting option, and then your TV or Chromecast should appear. Once that's selected, your phone is gonna be mirrored to those devices. So this method is gonna be great whether you wanna watch videos, share photos, or play games on a bigger device. Or also, if you've got a TV or a computer monitor that's gonna be near where you're filming with your smartphone, you can use it to wirelessly mirror your phone screen that way as well. But because there's no computer involved in this process, it does mean that this isn't gonna be a good option for anything live streaming or screen recording. And again, as with the previous ones, because this connection is happening over Wi-Fi, if you do have a bad Wi-Fi connection, it can result in a bad screen mirroring experience too. That was a mouthful. And the next option is to use an HDMI adapter to directly connect your phone into your TV or into a computer screen. Now this is something where you could just get a USB-C to HDMI adapter, and that will work fine. Or you could even get a USB-C hub, which a lot of them do have an HDMI port in as well. Also giving you then access to USB ports, and potentially even pass through power so that you can charge your phone at the same time. But once you've connected the adapter to the phone and run an HDMI cable through to the TV, then your phone will show up full screen. Again, this will work, portrait and landscape, but this time because it's directly connected, you're gonna have no issues with Wi-Fi interference or dropouts or poor Wi-Fi signal. So it should give you a really clear image with next to no latency or delays in the picture. And again, this could be a good option for playing videos, sharing photos and things, or playing games on a bigger screen, or also hooking this up to your phone while you're recording videos so that you can monitor on a bigger screen what's going on while you're in front of the camera. Now this method is something that's gonna be supported by a lot of Android devices out there. A lot of Android devices for the last few years have had this capability, but not all phones. So you will wanna make sure that your phone does support using an HDMI adapter and hooking it up to a bigger screen before you go down this route. And also be aware that this method is gonna chew through your phone's battery pretty quick. So if you can, grab an HDMI adapter that does allow you to power it and charge your phone at the same time. So now that you know how to mirror your Android screen, I've got two videos linked on screen for you, all designed to help you level up video creation with Android. One of them is all around filming with Android. The other is about the best video editing apps on Android. Check those out and I'll see you in the next one.